What's up guys, in this video we'll be taking a look of the Cyanogen Mod 12 CM12 uh, for your Nexus 5 and also I'll be showing you the version that I am currently running and you can see it's the version of Android 5.0.2 and this is a very stable build and uh, I didn't find any lag or whatsoever using this ROM on my Nexus 5 and it's pretty smooth and also good in terms of uh, stability so you can see uh, the Cyanogen mod update is also available where you'll be able to update your device for instance if you want to check your updates for weekly or even monthly or daily or twice daily so you can just uh, check it here and you can update your device right from your about phone section Related with the customization, you'll be only getting one tab available for instance like the personalization you can see your status bar option available here where you can uh, customize your quick settings panel you can see you can change the tiles available for instance as I want uh, my flashlight right beside my location service and you can see right beside my location service the invert color option is available you just have to tap and hold and rearrange the tiles as you can see you can see your flash tile would be right right after your location service so this has also been uh, introduced in cm12 and you don't have anything to add you just uh, these are the only limited toggles that you can add in your quick settings and also a brightness control is available where you can just adjust the brightness control brightness of your device by just sliding across the status bar the quick pull down as you can see right from from your right side you can just pull down only one time and your toggles will be visible so this is quick pull down and also your notification count show weather option is available when you just uh, toggle your location service your weather will be displayed right uh, towards the right side of the of your status bar and also your battery style status you will be able to change your battery style status as you can see i have kept circle and also your battery percentage inside the icon or next to icon i prefer inside the icon for this uh, mod and also you'll be getting an option to change your buttons for instance like the volume up and down and the power button the volume up and down wakes up your device for instance my if my device is logged you can just press the volume up or volume down to wake up your device so this can be done through your buttons option and also your power menu you can just end calls and when you go into your power menu you just tap and hold you can customize uh, like for instance like if you want to do a profile a switcher and also sound panel you can see these are also included now at pre after i just uh, tick the boxes available here you can see if i don't want the profile switcher you can see the profile switcher will be gone so this can be done also from power menu and uh, also you'll be able to uh, control your volume or your media player right for, like your volume up and down you can control your media player playback control is also available in this rom and also your system profiles you can see it's available in this uh, cyanogen mod build and uh, also when you go into your security options there is the sms message limit is also available you can also go into your privacy option and through your blacklist you can block calls unwanted calls on your nexus 5 so this also is being introduced into this rom and uh, also when you just tap and hold you know, on, on your home screen you can set up your home screen for instance i want this page to to be my home like you just have to tap towards upside you can see and it will be your home and uh, you just press your home button it will be taken to your home so this has also been introduced in this rom and also you can see towards the uh, down down you can see your wallpapers widgets and settings available and you just tap on your widgets option option you can see all the widgets available and uh, also when you go and tap this triangular dotted area here you can see you'll be taken into your settings where you will be able to customize your home screen your draw settings and also your app settings for instance with the search bar you can see now the search bar is visible if you want to uh, turn off this search bar you can just tap on this option and your search bar will be gone and also your scroll effect for instance you can see it's uh, this scroll effect at present 
and if you want to change it you just have to go into your scroll effect and according to your uh, perspective you can just keep it as what you want so this can be done also from this rom and also your icon label so when you just you can see my play store is visible like, like the text is visible when you just tap uh, this uh, icon label as height you can see now the text is gone and uh, this is only for the home screen option and uh, you just you can hide your icon labels on your home screen and also your scroll wallpaper you can you just turn it off or on and also your grid size according to your need you can keep your grid size and also a drawer settings for instance uh, you can see the effect here the effect is like uh, this effect is on my drawer option like flipping on the pages if you want to change it you just have to go into your drawer settings and you can just keep it cube in cube out all those stuff and also your scrolling title for instance uh, sorting mode for instance uh, as you can see i have uh, my twitter application downloaded my twitter application and uh, if i want the twitter application for instance like the the launch count or even the install time as you can see i have installed it just now and my application will be displayed towards the front side of the page so that can be done also from this rom like the the sorting mode and all the stuff and also icon labels you can just hide your icon labels or even you can show your icon labels and also from your app settings you can set up your larger icons like on and off and a protected application what this actually means is that for instance if you want to hide an application you can hide it from this uh, settings available and uh, you can see if i want to hide my camera application you just have to tap on it and you can see your camera will be hidden so this can be done uh, through your this protected apps application you know, settings here for instance as you can see i have my uh, studio here available and also my youtube uh, my studio option and i want to just lock this folder uh, go inside it and you can see towards the right side the lock option is available you just have to tap on it and you just keep your cache option available and you just tap on this lock folder and what this actually does is that it locks your folder and it doesn't uh, when you launch the folder you have to uh, press keep your uh, like draw your pattern to unlock the folder and you can access your youtube application as you can see so this has also been introduced into this rom which is a good thing and if you get a notification for instance if i lock my whatsapp i'm getting a notification towards the notification tray your status bar a notification option and for that to hide you just have to hide the notification too if you want to protect your application so these are the things that you can customize by using this rom and also your audio effects is available you can see you just just toggle it on for your speaker usb bluetooth wireless each and everything and also your file manager it's uh, available like uh, the Synogen mod file manager and uh, also you'll be getting your music option here uh, built-in music option available for your Synogen mod and also your messaging application and your sound recorder these come pre-installed along with strom and also a camera option available so this is Synogen mod 12 for your nexus 5 hope you guys like this video and if you do please do give a thumbs up and i'll be providing the files in the description for you to download if you like this rom you can just download it and check it out as this is this can be used as a daily driver uh, i didn't find any lag or whatsoever by using this rom so please do follow me on facebook today instagram and google plus and also do remember to remember to subscribe to my youtube channel for more android and more tech related videos in the near future till then i'll be seeing you in my next video